PayPal. PayPal is PayPal the steel deal of 2023. Yes, we've seen Meta go to the moon. We've gone, we've seen other stocks going flying up, but PayPal is still silent, staying below the radar. Is it time to look at PayPal as a genuine opportunity to make some moolah in 2023 and beyond? Yes, PayPal is a low, low, low. Prices at the moment should be at a higher PE ratio. Um, it's very low at the moment. And it has two of the three main com the, the three main paying systems. With um, Square having their own uh, number one. And two and three, PayPal and, and uh, Venmo. Uh, two and three at the moment in the US um, for online payments. Um, with also Braintree being another part of PayPal's conglomerate that could lead to some substantial gains going into the future. Um, but yes, what will happen? What? Um, yes, yeah, so it was interesting, I mean, um, the bit of the history of Venmo and, and um, Braintree were all, all put together at one point. Um, um they um it was brought um yeah they just decided um paypal was about time we get get into um get some more of the competition and take it with us so we can pay forward to the future um by spending 12 billion dollars to buy um to buy 12 billion dollars to buy these two networks and since then um, three years on, um, it's gone to fifty billion dollars, and so that's uh, that was in twenty twenty, and it continues to rise and rise as we continue on. Um, one of the things with PayPal that maybe was a bit of a not a good thing at the time was allowing cryptocurrency to be used with over twenty six million um, places you can use in the PayPal network. Um, but there was a little bit of disaster for PayPal, and they are paying for that at the moment. And with their net income going whoo down the hill, um, yes. Yeah, so where where has PayPal been flying as high as up to three hundred dollars? But has really since then been a train wreck, and is around the seventy dollar mark at the moment. What do we need to do? What does PayPal need to do to go ba boom? back into the atmosphere well yes at the moment it's an 80 billion dollar um, um market cap at the moment if it wants to get back to the where it was before you're looking at what about a big big move from here it has to be over 300 billion to get back to where it was so it's a long way to go um obviously with square taking it over as number one that is probably the biggest question mark against paypal is um have they are they going to continue to grow i think that's where the growing worry is for people that are not invested or the current investors that is the worry because they went downhill in 2022 but it doesn't mean they can't rise again because obviously in 2000 2001 absolutely everything was getting brought online absolutely everything and obviously paypal going to the roof but one thing i've noticed not just paper even with credit cards as well you're starting to see more and more merchants charge that extra rate to use the tap and go. You would have noticed that, just that tap and go, and charging you an extra percentage. Um, to me, it's just ludicrous. Um, it's so annoying that um, you, now you've got to try and swipe the card just to, to or pay in cash to, to get, not get that extra cost on top of your already expensive item you've already bought or cheap item. This is the things I you have to think about when you're investing into PayPal. Um, Revenue, well, the revenue for PayPal has been a bit of a, um, has improved from 21 billion to 27 billion in 2022. So there's been no problem with the revenue, but the net, net income has gone woo, the other way um, to 22.4 billion and a 40% decline on 2021. Big concerns for you PayPal fans right there. Um, total assets at 73 billion to total liabilities of 57 billion. So, boing, 
there's a good thing there for you. But long term debt, this is another disaster mode. This is why the stock continues to drop a 29% increase. Yes, on long term debt, up to over 10 billion now. Yes, 10 billion folks. Um, PayPal needs to work on getting that down for for sure. At an 80 billion dollar market cap, you got so you got over 10 percent in in long term debt. Um, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, and that's a big question that some people will be questioning with PayPal. They shouldn't have that much debt considering how easy it is for their company to make their moolah. So that is a big concern. They want to wipe that quickly. That is one big thing I'd be looking at if PayPal starts to rise again. I'd be Paying down their long-term debt, boom, thank you very much. That's something PayPal is certainly going to have to do going forward. But um, is it is it a buying opportunity? That's the question you gotta you gotta ask yourself right here, right now. Um, the long-term debts are concerning, obviously. Um, but the total assets over the liabilities is very good. The revenue is going up. So yeah, it's whether or not that net, net income, that net income, can they get that going up again? Was it just one bad year? Was it a blip in the Richter also are going to be more like this. They're going to keep sliding down, down, down. That is the question for you at home to think about where with PayPal. Um, if this is a, cha a stock for you, because that is my biggest concern with the stock. Is it actually on the decline? Because PayPal was right up number one early on, but now Square is coming. Ooh, broad block and down we go. Is it going to continue to go that way or will PayPal just bounce back up and go again? I think it'll go okay, but I don't think it's going to skyrocket as people might expected to do it uh, doesn't mean it won't but um it could be easy money on on, on uh, value metrics it looks like easy money but um that's going to be the question is where the growth is going long term i think short term you're going to get some gains don't you worry about that but uh, it's long term are you going to get boom 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 up we go a couple hundred percent 300 percent that's a that's the question that's depending on how you want to invest or um, if you're wanting a safer stock, it's probably pretty safe to say if you invest in PayPal, you'd do okay with the market. But if, um, yeah, it's possibly a good long-term play, but it's not. I'm not, I'm not going to convince anybody either way. Remember, do your own research before you go into any stock. Not financial advice. Um, PayPal should do well. I would expect that it will bounce back from this blip in the radar with the net income, but um. I'm not expecting it to double its net income um, this year, so um, it's a bit of a wait and see. Um, if, if you like the stock, um, do some more research and find out a bit more information on where they're going to produce more income, more growth for this company, because this is what the company really needs to do to continue their growth, um, if you want to invest in the stock. Well, that's a little bit about PayPal. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with another video very, very soon.